Paul Young's uh, novel dealing with rewriting Genesis chapters 1, 2, and 3, the story of creation, and then the making of Adam and Eve. And uh, the way that uh, in Paul Young's view that uh, Adam and Eve come into being is that uh, the earth man, who is Jesus Christ, uh, becomes pregnant with Adam, and after nine months gives birth to Adam, and uh, then after uh, Adam becomes pregnant with Eve, Adam gives birth to her after nine months, and both of these infants at that time, immediately after birth, uh, nurse at Jesus' breast. Now that's, I, that to me is almost uh, shameful for me to say that kind of thing, but I relate that because I think that Paul Young is imbibing at the uh, drink of uh, pagan mm -hmm. uh, mythology myths that were in vogue in the Canaanite era of Israel's past history and which God warned them all about and delivered Israel out of that. But he is conceiving of, I think, the writing of Genesis as a different way to take these myths and uh, give them a different kind of uh, character. In a recent podcast, I heard Paul Young take on the name El Shaddai, uh, and he claimed that that really refers to breasts. And uh, I looked that all up, and there is a variant reading, a slightly different spelling of El Shaddai in the Hebrew, but we believe, and correctly so, that it means the Almighty. But he mentioned that in his podcast, and I think that's a telling admission. I think what he's doing is saying that what we believe as Jewish people first and then Christians is simply a retelling of pagan uh, myths, and that strikes at the very heart of who God is, uh, what the authority of the Bible is, who the Trinity are or is, a Father, Son, and Spirit, and on and on it goes. So uh, when he gets to the chapter about uh, God is more he than she, now that's one of the uh, lies he said that we evangelicals believe, he goes to the defense of saying God is both he and she equally. 